Good evening, everybody. Uh, this evening, I'm going to show you what to do with the puntarelle. There we are. Puntarelle, um, it's a Roman chicory. It's called Roman chicory because it's actually it's most traditional from Rome or the area around Rome. And this, uh, and there's a, a classic dish in that area called Puntarelli alla Romana, which uh, have just puntarelle, anchovies and vinegar. Uh, this is a very seasonal thing. All these leaves I'm pulling out are the leaves that you don't need. And I'm very unfortunate because if you have a minestrone, you can chuck, chuck them in. They're actually very good to put in the soup. So I'm going to start by preparing the puntarelle getting rid of all these outside leaves until you actually get to the to the heart of the of the salad or if you call it salad for a vegetable and then you'll be left with with this can see. Very strange looking uh, vegetable. Amazing. Anyway, it's it's a delicacy. I'm gonna chuck this out. Sorry. Right, so we'll prepare that. Or oh, gonna get get rid of the part here. Okay, I'll come back go back to this in a minute. First of all, as usual, I prepare the dressing. And as, as I usually do, funnel there, quarter vinegar, and three quarters of olive oil. Okay, maybe a bit more vinegar actually. I'm gonna put a bit more than usual vinegar because with this dish, some strange reason, the Romans or the Rome Puntarella la Romana, they use just vinegar. So I want to make it very vinegary because that's how it's traditionally prepared. I put pepper, as usual, like this, I like quite a lot of pepper, and a bit of salt, not too much because the anchovies are very salty. Okay. Okay, that's all in there. Okay, as you can see, I use uh, a long neck bottle. It's always the best because you can actually hold it in one hand and shake it like that. It's the best thing. So like this, you can get the best out of the dressing because it gets froth before you use it. Taste it very vinegary. It's vinegar, more vinegar than usual because I use a little bit more. So okay. normally we use a quarter of vinegar, and this is our fantastic vinegar from our uh, uh, little deli Olivino in Lower the Grape Street, and the our extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper. The dressing is ready. Next ingredient to do prepare is puntarella salad, which everybody re asking. In the shop, what do we do with puntarelle? What do we do with this? Okay, so the ingredients are puntarelle, salty dried sardine and ricotta cheese that we get from the shop, anchovies, and walnut. As you can see from uh, other recipes that I've done, we keep it simple, a very few ingredients. This is not a traditional puntarelle dish that you have uh, made in Rome with, a with anchovies and vinegar, and that's it. This is, uh, we have, I created the, I put a few extra bits to make it a bit more Sardinian, I suppose. Uh, so we're going to start with that. First thing we're going to do is uh, also pull it out in bits like that. There's various ways of uh, Okay. Look at this, amazing. 
It's such an amazing looking vegetable. Basically, all you have to do is to almost julienne. You want to get some uh, strips, not not really necessarily very thin or very thick. And once you get the strips done, you want to make it. Because believe it or not, this salad is quite crunchy. It's amazing. It's delicious. But it's a uh, Everybody loves this. Okay, so we so called Julienne the Puntarelle. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to put, we're going to chop some of this, oh, Julienne the salted ricotta. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try to. Okay, so basically this is a variation eh, of the traditional recipe, variation to Sardinian recipe. Okay, this is all done with Julienne the Puntarella, as you can see, you can make it a little bit thinner, it's up to you, you know. Uh, and I've done the same with the salted ricotta. Some people like it really, really thin, I like it a little bit thicker like that. So I'm going to mix in bowl, chuck everything inside like this, like that. Now of course people say, oh, what well, I think uh, the, the amount, how much, how much you put of this, how much you put of that. I mean, you know, you can put a bit more, a bit less, this doesn't really matter. So I check everything inside this bowl. And what we're going to do now, I'm gonna chop some of these anchovies. Now, when I said I like a lot of anchovies, that's quite, quite a large salad. So, this is a dish that needs a lot of anchovies. So, chop them up like this into chunks. You don't want to make it thin, but you want to create some little chunks that can get mixed inside. Okay, put it all in there, like this. Okay, now next thing is the walnuts. Break some walnut inside. You don't want to have a big chunk, but at the same time you want to have small bits. Now walnuts, amazing to bring your cholesterol down. So this is a very healthy salad. Anchovies got massive uh, uh, omega-3, like most blue fish. And this is an incredibly tasty salad, actually, believe it or not. I like a lot of, ancho a lot of our walnuts as well. Walnuts and anchovies and cheese are managed very well. And this is the... Okay, I think maybe we're there. As you can see, incredibly simple. The most difficult thing is to clean the, clean the puntarelle. And I hope those people that come to the shop and buy the puntarelle now can see this recipe and do it at home very easily. Right, I think that's probably it. Um, I'm just going to give it a little stir like this first. And you can see. Finally, a big shake. I'm gonna need a lot of dressing in here because it's going to be almost 
almost drenched. Oops. Amazing how this vinegar, this vinegar is a miracle. Not, not many people like strong vinegar. Vinegar is a bit sweet. So I'm gonna dish it up in this bowl, in this, uh, sorry, this plate, like this. So you can have a, a better vision of the finished product, okay? Now, to finish it off, just as a little garnish. I left a few anchovies. So if you have a dinner party at home, you can always do this. I should have left a bit more, but never mind. So if I lick my fingers. Okay, so this is puntarella alla sarda, not alla romana. So made by me with a little variation or using salted ricotta cheese, walnuts, puntarelle, and a vinaigrette made with this fantastic vinegar from our shop. This is it. I hope you enjoy it. And put as much oil, as much uh, anchovies you like, as much walnuts you like. In fact, you can always crumble a few more at the top of the end. So there's no such thing as what are the quantities. And when you make, when you make it uh, all the time, you actually realize would you want more of this or less of that. But whatever you do, is, it tastes fantastic. This is actually, you'd be surprised how good it is. It's, it's amazing, really is amazing. Once you get used to it, once you get it, once your part is the taste and the crunchiness of these vegetables, every time it comes to season, it's like there's a bell ringing. You want to go back and eat that. Okay, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.